actually played a lot of sports when I was younger. Um, I just enjoyed being outside and doing something. I actually kind of hated being inside and doing nothing, unless it was playing the Xbox or something like that. But um, I, I did little laths, I did gymnastics. Um, I actually grew up playing netball. Um, I started that when I was nine. Um, and I had two older, I, I've got two older brothers, so I um, copied absolutely everything that they did when I was younger. Um, I hung out with their friends, I wore their, I got their clothes, I, their hand-me-downs, I wore their clothes. Um, and I, yeah, actually just copied everything they did. So mum and dad put them into an um, after-school competition. And um, they, um, yeah, they were playing and I kind of, said, well, you know, I want to be like them, so um, I asked them, well, you know, why I'm not playing, and that's how it kind of started. Yeah, so um, one of my earliest memories outside of starting basketball um, in general was um, I had a coach from Shep who, um, it got to a point where there wasn't enough competition in my age group um, that I, one of my coach Lee Bathman, he was our ITC network coach um, and he was from Shepparton as well and he um, took time out of his day to come and help me train and um, we had ADC camps and we had fitness programs that we had to do that get us prepared for those camps and um, yeah he took the time out of his day um, and, and off his back to come and help me get through those programs and coach me about three, four, five times a week just myself in him outside of ITC sessions or um, if there was another training session or something like that. Um, so he um, was a big part of my junior development um, and the other <laughs> I guess big memory that I have um, was spending a lot of time in the car um, traveling to Berlin for VJBL. Um, so I spent a lot of time um, in the back of the car and because I was still at school um, I was either asleep most of the time um, or doing my study in the car or funnily enough I actually used to play the flute so I used to practice <laughs> doing flute in the back of the car and I used to get angry at mum because she'd go over bumps and I couldn't see the music and I'd make a mistake but it was a, it's all funny when you look back at it and um, but with that I made a really special bond particularly with my parents um, but um, with Lee and other coaches that really helped assist you know that pathway to to go on and um, be here. Yeah um, well that was kind of like the big thing when, you, when you're younger that was what you were aiming for obviously you had really long-term goals but that was kind of the, the first big goal that I wanted to to achieve and to kind of say and be involved in a team that you were representing country Victoria and then in under 20s Victoria was, um, yeah, to be at a national championship at that age was kind of a little bit surreal at the time, but really cool and um, a big achievement and definitely something that um, I will remember for forever. If it wasn't for, you know, those programs um, and having the opportunity to come down and play against the best Victoria in Melbourne in the in um, VJBL there's no doubt that it couldn't develop as a junior um, to put you in good stead for to become a you know a professional athlete in terms of WNBL um, so those pathways definitely set me up and set up set up athletes who have the potential to be um, promising athletes and basketballers um, there's no doubt that they're really important for that development, particularly at that age where development is so important and the right development um, at that time. Um, so they're super, super important and that's why there's a lot of emphasis about getting the best programs um, and the best athletes in to, to really develop them. To so play against, um, gosh. Um, it's kind of crazy when you kind of think 150, that's a lot of games. Um, gosh, put me on the spot. Um, to play against, I think it, uh, off the top of my head I obviously don't really, can't really pick out a name but I think it's just more the fact that I get to play against the best in Australia and even in the world, we have you know, WNBA players come in, we've got Olympians, um, I remember when I was first in the, in the league it was kind of like oh my gosh like I'm playing against Olympians, I'm playing against like this player or I'm playing with, uh, you know, I had the privilege of playing with Christy Harawat, like a four-time Olympian. I was like, oh my gosh, like, wow, this is crazy. And then as you, you get older and um, 
things change and stuff is like you're, you're playing with them and you know kind of matching matching them and um, going up against them and um, you know having that kind of competitiveness against people who have been successful and who are successful um, is I think that's my favorite part about it is being challenged by um, such great athletes and, and kind of wanting to be um, to be the best that I can be. Oh my gosh, um, wow. Uh, <laughs> that's a really good question. Um, I'm sure that I could say a lot of things to 14 year old Maddie. Um, actually through that, when I was about around 14, 15, uh, going to 16, I was kind of at a really bad place. Um, more so towards the end of 14, 15. Um, and so it was, uh, it was probably just be now that I know what kind of happened, just kind of stay with it and keep positive and um, keep working hard. But um, kind of everything happens for a reason. So um, other than that, stay out of trouble. <laughs>